Perfect. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna go ahead and dive straight into this tutorial today. This is the hair that I'm gonna be using, you guys. This is the Jamaican braid by Bobby Boss, as well as the French Deep braid as well. Overall, I went ahead and spent roughly about $40 on this style, and I had some hair left over. <laughs> Actually, I had a complete full pack left over, so this style is definitely under $40. I went ahead and got the color 27 in the Jamaican braid, as well as 613, and then I went ahead and got three more packs for a mixture of both, and I felt like this color combination, when it all came together, looked so damn beautiful. Now, I'm going to be completely 100% honest with you guys, you will need to set aside some time to do this style, especially if you are doing it by yourself. Now, I am not new to this faux lock bohemian type of style. I've done it before, so I went ahead and prepped everything I needed to do. Washed, cleaned, freaking parted my hair, all that, just so I could show you guys at the very end exactly how to do it. However, looking back after I completed this entire thing, honestly, I really wish I would have made my parts smaller on the top because I kind of kept them even all the way around, but when you get to the top of your head, try to make those parts a little bit smaller. Now, one tip I have for you guys that really helped me this second time around of doing this style is to brush out the Jamaican braid hair. Don't just brush out the ends, honey. Brush the entire thing out because when I tell you you're going to end up using less hair, um, it makes a big difference in your pockets. So this is showing you guys four pieces on the left and four pieces on the right And you can just see the surface area and the amount you're gonna be able to wrap is gonna be a lot more now, in order to go ahead and start the base for that faux lock, I went ahead and did a traditional three-strand braid. And then when I got down far enough, I just did a two-strand twist. And this is just going to help be your anchor point for your faux lock. Now, for each lock, I used about two to three pieces of this hair and one piece of the French deep hair as well. Honestly, have fun with it, pick whatever color you want, but this is what it looks like straight out the pack and I hate how uniform it is. I really wanted this style to be messy and fun, so I pulled each end and then it made it look a little bit softer as well, instead of so crunchy and crisp looking. Um, so in order to go ahead and get this started, we're going to go ahead and take both pieces of hair. I kind of do a little wrap just to make it smaller and easier to get onto my crochet hook, but that is what it looks like. Sorry guys, I will show you again later on in this video exactly what I'm doing. But I'm taking my crochet hook and I'm going to go ahead and slide it underneath that three strand braid. And as you can see right there, the little open opening um, is open <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and place the hair in there and pull it through don't pull the hair all the way through um, I mean I feel like that's common sense but just be careful <laughs> um, and as you can see you'll be able to slide it and you should be able to pull it down without anything shifting or sliding off that shows that your foundation braid is secure now this is the part where you need to really um, pay attention to what you're doing. You're going to take one piece of that dual French braid or whatever of the curly hair and you're going to go ahead and move that out of the way. You want to make sure that you have a piece left out because this is going to help create that nice soft bohemian look. And then you're going to be taking your Jamaican braid hair and you're going to make it a little bit shorter. So at this point, you should have your short piece of the Jamaican braid, your hair, and the long piece of the curly hair as well, all in one hand. And you're going to start working on wrapping it around at the base. Focus this at least two, three, four times because this is going to help your locks not end up slipping being loose and just basically falling apart honey <laughs> so be sure to focus that and each time you're wrapping it make sure you're overlapping it as well and keeping a tight grip if not all of your locks when you get to the very end they're gonna look blown out 
and I will be the first to say the very first time I did this style a lot of my locks looked blown the f out okay <laughs> so don't be like that just go ahead and take your time taking your time literally makes all the freaking difference so you're gonna go ahead and continue to overlap every time you're wrapping it around holding that very tight um, as well and then as you can kind of see I'm spreading the hair out every time I'm wrapping it as well because the entire point of us combing that out is to have a wider surface area for each wrap so make sure your hair is not getting twisted up and tangled you want to brush it out continuously every time you're wrapping it so you can work down the entire lock a lot faster now a little bit of my natural hair is out and the last time I did this style <laughs> I don't remember my hair being this long but it has been a whole nother year so I had to make the locks a lot longer so here I'm just adding a second piece I don't add it to the very end of the last hair it's kind of about like a half an inch up so that way as I'm wrapping my new piece it's covering the old piece and helping it be secure so it doesn't <laughs> unravel and then I'm gonna just continue to work down my hair as well all the way to the very very end make sure you have some Netflix on <laughs> catch up on some movies or TV shows that you've been wanting to watch because sis you gonna be here for a while <laughs> and I'm gonna be the first one to say that because this style approximately took me about two days to complete start to finish but on the plus side like I mentioned before it only cost me roughly about $35 to do this so honey I got time <laughs> now once you get to the end of your lock you can see right here I have a little bit left over so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to wrap that upwards instead of down as you're wrapping it upwards it's gonna help secure it and I went ahead and used a little bit of nail glue as well to keep everything in place and then just palm rolled it last time I did this I never palm rolled it and <laughs> those locks i'm telling you like after like a month they looked horrible um so so far this entire method i'm showing y'all like this hair has stayed very very nice like i have been posting it all over instagram and you guys are just falling in love oh and by the way if you have extra hair left over just cut it off and you'll be fine and that is what it looks like now i'm gonna go ahead and show you it one more time so we're taking this piece of hair like i said and this is the 613 hair and honey look at that 613 hair definitely a lot fuller um than the mixture of the t27 so if you are really wanting to do this style with that other color um trust me you're gonna have to buy more <laughs> bags of hair because i don't know why but the mixture of the colors it was that entire pack like was just so thin every single pack i opened of the t27 and 613 blend very very thin however um the normal 613 and the normal uh t27 they were both equally um as full so again i'm taking my hair and i'm sliding it under the braid this part is always so satisfying to me because i know like <laughs> I know we're like almost done with this style so I mean I just fell in love but um like I said you're always gonna go ahead and section out a piece of the hair um one thing I do want to mention is at the bottom of my hair like around the nape of my neck I didn't leave any type of loose ends like that just because last time I did that it got really tangled underneath and it was just not cute so um, I did it mainly like halfway through my head and up with leaving pieces out just to make the style a lot fuller and carefree um, like I mentioned before I honestly if I could do anything different this time around which I'm just excited to do this again because I feel like this is gonna be one of my new styles but like I said it's just doing a little smaller parts on the top <laughs> <laughs> just so it could be more full especially since my natural hair is so dark um, but like I said you're gonna take all three pieces of hair and start wrapping it around the base 
The base is one of the most important factors when it comes to these locks. You don't want them slipping, you don't want them coming undone. So definitely um, focus on that. This is a little bit of a better angle for you guys. I mean, granted, <laughs> um, my hand's kind of in the way, but you can see right here, I'm using my index finger and my thumb to really just keep everything nice and secure so that nothing moves, nothing budges, and it's nice and tight. Uh, don't go too tight around um, your base braid just because at the end of the day when you're done with your entire head it might <laughs> it might be hurting a little bit so don't do that. Um, this time around I didn't have any pain and they were able to move around and be parted any way I wanted um, just because I was really focusing on having a low tension style and taking my time to do this and not <laughs> rip my edges out. But yeah, like I mentioned before, you're just going to go ahead and continue to wrap down the base braid until you get to the end where you're going to apply a little bit of glue and then palm roll it. And then I went ahead and just dressed it up a little bit with a couple accessories that I got from Sally Beauty and I believe I got the string from United Beauty. So if you're out here in Arizona, shout out United Beauty. <laughs> um, they always come in clutch with getting things that I need for my style. So, but yeah, this is what the style looks like. I'm completely obsessed and I am very grateful that I went ahead and film this tutorial for you guys because y'all are digging it, I'm digging it, like everybody's digging it. <laughs> so I'm very happy about that. But yeah, overall, I definitely feel like this <laughs> is such a vibe. Like, I'm so obsessed with this style you guys and also this is a shot at what the back looks like carefree like ready to be on the beach rolling around in the sand like that type of vibe but anyways that's it for this video guys be sure to check the description box down below for everything that i used and if you like this video then don't forget to leave your girl a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one